Set to go to green. Your field off of turn number four. They come to the chalk and we're underway. Tim Crawley going to take off of the race lead. Corey Bell's running in second. Miles Paulus wins out the battle for third. Tony Bruce Jr. with Roger Crockett working to his inside now. Crockett slides it up the racetrack, takes his spot away from the Tiger towing number 86 as now he's got company from Blake Hahn. Hahn in the 52 working down to the hub of the racetrack. He will crack the top five to the back straightway. Working into turns three and four down to the bottom side of the speed. As Roger Crockett tags the back bumper of the 21 of Miles Paulus, gets him all kinds of upset, and he's going to get the run to the outside. Working to the high side of turns one and two, Crockett going to take over that third spot as he played bumper tag with the 21 of Miles Paulus a lap ago. Now, Paulus protects the bottom for the charge of the 52 of Blake Hahn. Hahn not able to get the run. He's going to try again as they work up a turn number four. The car with good bite off of that left rear as it pushed it up the racetrack. It kind of floated that right front a little bit. He gets another big run to the back straightway. He'll take the spot away as they'll come around to four in with four to go. It is still Tim Crawley in command, the five of Corey Bales running in second, the 11 of Roger Crockett in third. Blake Hahn running in fourth, Miles Paulus in fifth, the 81A of Chris Morgan running in sixth. Tony Bruce Jr. shuffled back to seventh now, under fire from the 85 of Forrest Sutherland with the 24 of Garrett Williamson and the 7B of Ben Brown currently running at your running order three wide at the back of the field. The 86 of Tony Bruce Jr. high, the 85 of Forrest Sutherland to the middle with the 24 of Williamson down to the bottom. It'll continue to be Tony Bruce Jr. holding on to that seventh spot as Roger Crockett rolls top shelf to the second spot, gets around the five of Corey Bales. He will roll to the high side into turn three, chasing the one exit Tim Crawley as they round to the front straightway. White flag displayed for your race leader, the Crawdaddy. Roger Crockett closing rapidly as he will dive the bottom of turn number three, looking for the lead off of turn number four. Does he have enough to take it away? No, Tim Crawley's going to hold on to it. Tim Crawley holds on for the win. Roger Crockett in second, Corey Bells in third. Blake Hahn comes from seventh to fourth in that one. The 21 of Miles Paulus ends up in fifth. The 81A of Chris Morgan ends up in sixth. The 85 of Forrest Sutherland with the 86 of Tony Bruce Shooter, the 24 of Garrett Williamson, and the 7B of Ben Brown unofficially rounding out your field. What's your winner, ladies and gentlemen? He comes to you. And a Benton, Arkansas, the three-time former National Tour champion of the Ronnie Pitts Motorsports, number one X. Won't you give him a hand? The Crawdaddy, Tim Crawley. As Crawley will pull it down into the infield, we go down to Brandon Hahn. Well, thank you. As uh, I will let Tim get that helmet off and. The crawl daddy, he wasn't crawling tonight. He was ripping that lip and uh, put her in the show. Yeah, we'll be in, but probably be back pretty good ways. But we still don't have good balance. I mean, I'm just, I don't know, we're just struggling. Well, uh, where, where at could you be just a little bit better? Uh, talk to us a little bit. I don't know. The car's getting over on the right rear a little too hard, right against the cushion, and it's just not coming off good. So we just don't have good balance right now. So we'll go play with it some more. If you can't get in good, you're not going to be able to get off good. Tim Crawley thinks he's got a little bit of work to do, but he put himself in the show, and I'll send it back up top to Brian Holden. 